Okay guys, I know I'm a little bit late this month, but I have valid reasons. You know, it was my birthday on March 3rd, so you know, you guys can wish me a happy belated birthday in the comment section, but I also had tons of deadlines. I had reports due and presentations to do, and realistically, I still have stuff to do due in a couple of days actually. So I'm probably gonna do that after this video, but I thought, you know what? It's super important to make top apps for you guys. So let's go ahead and jump into the top 10 Android apps of March for 2022. So the first app on the list is Quick Timer, and this is an app filled with preset timers that you can use for a multitude of different tasks. So they have timers to cook eggs, rice, pasta. Other than cooking things, they also have timers for studying or taking power naps. And honestly, this is kind of nice. Sometimes I get really tired of constantly going in my clock app and then dialing in a timer to do a specific thing. And honestly, it's just a lot easier to jump inside this app, find what I want to set my timer for and click on it. And then the timer instantly starts and you can go ahead and repeat the timer, pause it. You can go and add your own custom timers and you can even uncheck the preset ones so you don't have to have a timer for eggs if you don't need eggs right other than that it's a super clean interface you have dark mode and yeah not much else to it quick timer is app number one app number two is stfo this is an app where you can define rules and depending on those rules there will be certain outcomes so for this one here when a notification comes into your device containing the word urgent it's going to turn off do not disturb. So that's pretty handy in case of an emergency, if someone's trying to message you and your phone's on do not disturb, then you don't wanna miss out on some emergency message. So if it sounds urgent, it's gonna unblock the do not disturb. But there's tons more to choose from. There's one here that automatically copies that little code, the verification code that gets texted to your phone. And realistically, there's a ton. You can go and explore this little template section up here. There is a lot to choose from, or you can create your own rules and have your own outcome depending on the rules. So yeah, if you wanna add a little bit of common sense and self-awareness to your Android phone, this is a great app for doing that. App number three is Spectra. This is a very clean app. It's like super minimal interface, but it allows you to view all the information about your device. So obviously I know quite a lot of information, but I don't know the specifics. And so inside here, I can find out the exact display that my smartphone is using. I'm using the Pixel 4a 5G, by the way. And I can go and actually look at the CPU. I can see the exact processor used, the amount of cores, and even the clock speed of each core that's running live. You can also view your RAM, your storage. You can even view all the sensors in your phone, including the accelerometer, the gyroscope, and the magnometer. Magnetometer? Mag magnetometer. For detecting magnets. Then there's a little cellular section. You can view all the information in terms of the network, the cellular capabilities, and you also have this little battery life section. Now, spoiler alert, this is an app I featured in a past couple of top app videos. This is Electron. Electron is not in this list, but it's a great app for monitoring your battery health. It also allows you to monitor your charge status and your decharge rate of your battery. There's tons of things in there, but go check out that if you haven't as well. But jumping back to the list, app number four is Snippet. Now, Snippet is a great way of reading if you don't have a lot of time. I, I often feature apps like this because, you know, I'm a student, I make YouTube videos, I travel sometimes to, you know, travel down south to see my parents and stuff. And honestly, I don't really have a lot of time to sit down and read a book. I find myself reading books for my course and to write essays on and not for pleasure. So sometimes if I want to learn something and read something, this is a great app. It basically simplifies a large interesting book into a short interesting book and it takes all those key points and sort of narrows it down into a short piece of text it actually tells you how long it will take to read the book so this only takes nine minutes so how how many of you guys don't have nine minutes spared to go ahead and read this book i mean it only takes nine milliseconds to subscribe like that was cringy as hell but go subscribe hit the bell icon i'd appreciate it but yeah, this is just a super nice app. You have dark mode, you can change your text size, and you can go ahead and actually download some of the books as well, bookmark them, share them with other people. And a lot of them in here are to do with motivation and starting businesses, um, but you can go ahead and choose from different categories. There's absolutely tons to choose from, but most of them are sort of educational, like uh, economics or history or human resources. Who would want to read up on that? I don't know, maybe you guys do. I don't want to make fun of you guys. <laughs> But yeah, there, there are so many different types of books you could read. And honestly, yeah, it's just a great app. You want to read? Check out Snippets. I don't need to say anymore. Let's jump on to the next app. The next one is Walleek. I never do a top apps without featuring a wallpaper app. And this wallpaper I'm using right now on my home screen, 
that was taken from Walleek. So there it is right there. If you want to find it without this app, I'll leave the link to my Google Drive down below. But realistically, there's a lot of high quality wallpapers in this app. So there's also a little collection section here. So if you want something specific, like this little Memphis section, damn, these look really cool. These are really nice. I'll probably be changing my wallpaper later on today. Um, but yeah, Walleek is a great wallpaper app. App number six is Adaptive Controls. It's kind of in the name, but this app allows you to set specific settings depending on the app you're in. So for example, if we go into Adaptive Controls, we can add the apps here that we wanna change. And whenever I open up Fiverr, I can set the brightness my phone's gonna be at, I can set the volume, I can set whether auto rotation is on. So obviously if you're in a, a media-based app, you might wanna enable the auto rotation feature. You also have the ability to turn on and off do not disturb. So if you jump into like a work app, then you might want to turn that on. But realistically, this can actually be a super handy app. I've been using it for the past few weeks now. And uh, yeah, there's some pretty nifty features. There's obviously a lot more to it. So go check it out. Link is down below. App number eight is a weather app. This one isn't anything fancy like usual. It's a pretty simple app actually, but I've just loved it purely because of that simplicity. It's so accurate as well in terms of, you know, predicting when it's going to rain it's almost spot on to the minute. It tells me when it's gonna rain, when the wind is gonna get strong, if it's gonna snow. And honestly, I love the alerts. I love the clean interface. I can just quickly jump into the app, see the exact forecast and jump out of it. I don't need to scroll around and there's no fluid animations or anything, which I normally do like, but this is just a really, really clean and simple app. You can search up here for new locations. And something great is you can actually customize all the units. So whether you're Imperial or Metric or a little hybrid of both like me, you can go and sort of toggle all those individual units. So app number eight is Control Center. So I'm actually an iPhone user primarily, I would say. It's kind of like my main go-to device. And so I miss the Control Center because it's really easy to use for one-handed use. And I just kind of hate pulling down the notifications twice from the top. It's just an awkward reach. And so this app control center brings across that control center functionality from the iPhone and it looks pretty much identical. You can even long press on the sliders and you can change your brightness. You can change your volume. You can even change your ringer or media volume. And you can also turn on your flashlight, start timers, jump into your clock app. You can enable and disable the auto rotation exactly like on the real iPhone. There is some customization you can do inside the app, like changing the colors, the position, the background, the size. But honestly, yeah, it's a great app if you are looking for some iOS features on Android. Number nine is Lucent for KWGT. You probably noticed this really clean weather widget that I actually have on my screen right now, and that is from Lucent. So if we jump into it, as you can see, there's not just weather widgets. There is an absolute ton of variety of different widgets. There is calendar widgets, there's Google search widgets, media playback widgets for Spotify. There's also little quick toggles. There is so many widgets in here and they're all really clean. Honestly, they just enhance your home screen a ton. And I would personally use pretty much any one of these. They look super, super nice. So if you want to check out some really cool widgets, check out Lucent. The link will be down below. And the last on the list is Breathwork. Ugh, sometimes like doing YouTube, doing all this work, doing university work, it, it really gets to me, you know, and, and I go to lie down and I, I physically cannot sleep, you know, because I'm so in to like the working mindset. And so breath work helps me because when I lie down, I just feel like I'm, I panic about the next thing that's due or waking up in the morning to, to get somewhere, to go somewhere, to do something. And so this app contains multiple different presets of breathing patterns, depending on whether you're sleeping, whether you're awake, or whether you're just trying to calm yourself down. There's tons of modes to choose from, and you simply go ahead and click on one. It's gonna give you instructions on how to breathe to sort of relax yourself and calm yourself down. And you can even go ahead and change the time frame. You can enable music in the background or even special sound effects like rain or relaxing sounds. And you can even choose to turn on haptics. I don't know why you would do that. Haptics just kind of stress me out. You know, when my phone vibrates, I'm like, ugh, what is it now? You know, so um, yeah, haptics is not one for me. But yeah, super great app. If you want to just calm down, you want to relax and take your mind away from all the work, breath work is the way to go. But yeah, that is my top apps for March. I hope you enjoyed. If you want to check out some filmmaking stuff, if you want to go over to my new channel, go ahead and check it out, Matt Rob Visuals. I'm working super hard at it and nobody's coming over. So please go ahead and check it out. I'd really, really appreciate it. And if you're curious about any of my socials, the links to that is always in my description down below. So um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys later.